Anyway, how can the antenna output more power that's going than is going into it? Asks Slinky13. Good question, Slinky. It can't. In fact, due to efficiency losses, it will always output less power that's going into it. But the antenna gain, what it does is it focuses the power. So imagine that I've got one watt going into the antenna, but the antenna, the, 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 an isotropic antenna radiates the energy in a perfect sphere. Okay, there's no such thing as an isotropic antenna in the real world, though. So an isotropic antenna, a, a theoretical thing that doesn't exist in the real world, the one watt of power goes into the isotropic antenna. It, it is broadcast out into a perfect sphere. And that means that at a given distance from the antenna, it doesn't matter where you are around the antenna, you will measure the same amount of energy. And that energy will be one watt divided over the surface area of the antenna, of the, of the, of the sphere that is being projected out from the antenna. Okay. But real antennas focus the signal. So imagine a light bulb and that light bulb is outputting one watt and that light bulb is broadcasting into the room. Okay. That's your isotropic radiator. Now imagine we take a reflector and we put that reflector around the light bulb so that instead of a light bulb broadcasting in every direction, we have a spotlight. You with me? That's in fact how spotlights work. There's a light and there's a reflector. Well, now we have one watt of power, but more of the power is going over there and less of the power is going over here. And that's the gain of the antenna. That's the gain of the antenna. 